both Java and Python have lots of similarities. Both have large communities and libraries. Syntactically also, Python is way simpler than Java. Both are also popular languages, widely used. But in recent trends, it shows that Python developers are more in demand than Java engineers, despite Java being old and a well-established language. The fresh Python developers are also getting a better offer than fresh Java engineers. Now, will Python overtake Java? My answer is no. And I have many reasons for that. So if you want to know why Python can never overtake Java, or are you unable to decide which language is better, Python or Java, or which language has the most salary, Java or Python, this video is for you. So stay tuned till the end of the video. And if you have any suggestions or feedback, do let me know in the comment section. Hello and welcome to Career Ride. I'm Nishant and let's start now. Now, first of all, let me discuss why Python is getting popular. Python is gaining popularity because of its simplicity. The syntax is straightforward to learn and easier for the newbies to grasp. Python code is concise, clean and readable. Developers require less effort and time to keep the code readable in Python. It has large communities and enormous libraries. And Python has been used widely for developing new algorithms for data science, analytics, machine learning, deep learning, and AI. And you know, every school and college are teaching Python language, thus further expanding its growth and popularity. Last but not least, Python is open source. There is absolutely no cost involved in downloading and using Python. So these are reasons behind this immense popularity of Python. If you are finding this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. Now let us try to understand why Python can never overtake Java. And the reason one is speed. Python is slow as compared to Java. Python is an interpreted language, meaning code is interpreted at runtime. It determines the types of data at runtime that increases the workload of the interpreter in runtime and makes it slow. Whereas Java is a compiled based programming language. And Java doesn't require interpretation, so it doesn't take much processing time and memory, and is faster than Python. Well, Python can be good for data science and machine learning projects, but when it comes to enterprise level applications, cross-platform software, security, Java is still the first choice. Now coming to stability, Java is more stable language than Python. Java code is compiled before running meaning all program errors are discovered before running. So it ensures minimum code crashes. Whereas errors in Python are only discovered at runtime, which leads to frequent code crashes. Now coming to portability, as far as portability is concerned, both are highly portable. But Java has little edge over Python because of JVM, that is Java Virtual Machine. Yes, JVM comes pre-installed on all kinds of devices. As a result, the same code of Java can run on any operating system easily. Next is mobile app development. Between Java and Python, Java is preferred more for mobile app development. Not many mobile apps are being developed using Python. Actually, Python wasn't made with mobile development in mind. As Python is an interpreted language, consumes more memory and processing speed at the runtime. It is not preferred by most of the developers when it comes to mobile app development. And due to rapid digitalization, mobile traffic is surpassing desktop traffic. So learning Python is not enough to become a seasoned all-round developer. Now coming to game development. In the field of game development, Java is most preferred language because of its high performing frameworks. We all know that game developments require highest possible performance to offer seamless user experience, for which Python is not suitable. And the last but not least, pay scale. Although both Java and Python are popular languages, the recent trend shows that there is more demand for Python developers than the Java engineers, thanks to its use in booming industries of data science, machine learning, and AI. So more demand and less supply have led to more pay. Yes, the fresh Python developers are getting more than fresh Java developers. But the experienced Java developers 
are still getting more than experienced Python developers. So Java being such an old and versatile language will not go anywhere. They are in still demand and will remain so in future as well. And that's all for now. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.